Mira, David, look what I'm about to do right here. Three point slow, bro. There we go. Boom. <laughs> we don't need any stickers. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Coastal GX. Today, I am so excited, man. I have a treat for you guys. We have a bit of a collab here uh, where I'm gonna be meeting up with the guys from uh, the Three Point Slow Gang, uh, AKA Overland Nomad, the channel. Uh, I've been following these guys for a long time now, and uh, they are an inspiration uh, for a lot of us who like to go wheeling and exploring. Uh, <clears throat> I got in touch with uh, Jonathan and uh, he, he said, hey, come on over, uh, come and check out the shop and uh, let's talk. So I'm looking forward to this and I'm also looking forward because of another reason. So I've been having some issues uh, not too long ago uh, with, with my lighting here with the, with the Lexus, with Sandy, our GX460. Uh, so I thought it would be a great idea to replace the original OEM uh, lights with uh, I th what I thought was going to be an upgrade. Unfortunately, um, kind of screwed up and uh, I replaced them with these uh, different uh, LEDs. The reviews, I got these on Amazon. The reviews were amazing. Everybody said all these nice things about them. Um, I think I might have installed them incorrectly but I really I'm gonna ask Jonathan I'm gonna ask those guys who know how to wrench and are experts when it comes to this type of stuff and modifications see what they have to say about this um, I'm a little worried uh, uh, because I have to uh, shoot the high beams in order to get a decent spread a decent sp uh, pattern um, when I'm driving at night so I hate driving at night uh, until I correct this issue. Could that be it? That's gotta be it. Just follow the Toyotas. I think we're here. Uh, no, no thank you, no thank you. Yes, I do drink, but it is a new year, and pues, everybody's like under 200 pounds around here, except for <laughs> me, bro, so I gotta I got get in shape, but we're gonna be hitting those trails, and we're gonna be going camping, we're gonna be going back out there, we're gonna be sharing some adventures, I gotta keep up with these young bucks. Nice. Which, by the way, which, by the way, un aplauso a estos, a estos señores aquí. Guys, I'm assuming, and I don't want to label anyone, but I'm assuming these guys are millennials. We are, well, except him, probably. You're, yeah. you're, you're a Zister? You're, you're a Zoomer? Yeah, Zoom. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you guys something, all going to get man. shot. <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You got to respect any young, young person out there, okay? Man or woman that is able to wrench and do what these guys do. Check out, check out their channel, guys, and you will be amazed. They do exist. These guys still exist, you know. And and I know I'm sounding kind of weird there, but it's it's true. It's yeah. true. And and uh, the way I grew up, you know, is it, probably very different from the way they grew up. But still, they're still doing shit like this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah no. And and I mean, I guess like the way that the way we run things, like especially we go camping and stuff like that, is. We, uh, from all the inst like Instagrammers and YouTubers out there, there's one thing that I always notice. It's for some odd reason they poop money and they have everything you can imagine. We don't have any of that because we're young. We have bills to pay. I have a family. I have a house. I have a mortgage. I have every bills to pay. These guys have the same stuff and we can't afford any of that. So, <laughs> so. That's the thing, guys. So whatever you got, just get out there and have fun. Especially if you live here in the valley, you got the beach. I think it's awesome. Go out there and go camp. Set up your tent. Uh, just be prepared. Uh, have a 4x4 because, you know, 
gonna need it. So, but yeah, I don't know what else to say. Well, well I, I will say this yeah. though, because I, I I have so many things. I mean, you remember, you know, I've been watching you guys, yeah. so I have questions. Sure, yeah, go ahead. I have questions. Go ahead. You know, and one of them is what I'm really really impressed is just like David said right now, mm -hmm. these guys right here, they work hard for their money and they invest time. Okay, they invest the time. They do their research, they fix their own stuff, and then they go out there and they break it and they come back here and do it again. Okay? That's pretty freaking cool, man. I mean, people don't do that, right? You know, it's, it takes skills to do stuff like that, especially when it's costing you money. But like David said a while ago, you can tell when people are doing it for the passion. Mm -hmm. And that's what these guys are doing here. And uh, we gotta, you gotta give some respect to that because they're not getting mommy and poppy. Mommy and daddy isn't throwing money at these guys yep. right here. Mm -hmm. This shit, it's got to hurt. They got it. They got to put in some work. Yeah. I'm assuming, right, guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, you know, so that's that's what I wanted. A, yeah. It was more of a statement more yeah. than a question. <laughs> but I, I will say this. What yeah. got you into overlanding? What got you into all this? Um, well, I always, for me personally, I blame it on one trip that I did. Um, so I had, I had a career going and then some stuff happened some bad stuff happened to me and I had a whole life change right when I got married so I took a trip to Big Ben in 2015 with my buddies and I borrowed my dad's Subaru I was like can I can I borrow it and he's like yeah he, bar he bought it. he just barely bought it I took it out there and and I've never been to Big Ben and it was beautiful I was there for a few nights in the back country and just the fact that I was alone I mean I was alone I was with my friends but we were alone that got me in that whole camping stuff and I mean, I already had my pickup. I already liked, uh, you know, going off roading and stuff. And I've been mountain biking since I was a kid. So I just, I guess, I hadn't experienced the, the camping in the middle of nowhere kind of thing. Even though I had been camping at the beach since like high school, I would always go out there with my friends. But yeah, I would say that Big Ben trip was kind of what got me there. When did you start finding out, hey man, my channel's grabbing some traction here. People yeah. are respecting and people are, are following us. Um, you know, that's a good question. Um, I know for the Overland Nomad channel, like our YouTube channel, I've been posting on there since I guess I started the whole, I li started liking the whole Overland thing. Um, and I just started posting on there and yeah, I saw people uh, liking all that. And I think kind of blame Instagram because it kind of started growing a lot more on Instagram. So all the people on Instagram kind of started going on YouTube and they started seeing the videos. They really enjoyed it. But then I guess when it came, and this is gonna be more about YouTubing and all that, I realize I can't be putting that much content on camping all the time because I don't camp all the time. There's some people have luxuries of doing it all the time. I don't. So I decided, you know, we need to do something different with the channel. And I was already hanging out with these guys. I would already see these guys working in the shop. And I said, why don't we start uh, a series, a weekly series, just working on the Toyotas. And that's how Three Point Slow Gang kind of uh, became a thing. This happened over a little over a year ago. And uh, yeah, ever since, uh, just after Three Point Slug Gang, someone even, even right away, I, I forgot who left the comment, said like, this is, you guys are gonna go places because of that. And, uh, and our YouTube channel has either doubled or tripled by now subscribers. We're, we're getting close to 10,000. So, and we're, that's just, we're barely starting. Well, it, in my channel, whoever doesn't understand the Three Point Slow, I think I know what that means. You know, we were talking about an engine here. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. There's gonna be a lot of people. What do you mean three points slow? Yeah, they are they go slow or what? Yeah, they I, thought we were the slow ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course we are. <laughs> so, so it, they call themselves the three point slow gang. So if you got a gang, everybody's got to bring something to the gang, right? Some sort of talent, some sort of skill. Mm -hmm. And David, I don't mean to put you in the spotlight, but you you need to walk me through. Jake, Jake. what does he do? And so, you gotta introduce everybody one, yeah, one at a time. Well, okay. Well, you guys already know me. Enough of that. Jake over here, <laughs> our master, uh, our professional Toyota <laughs> specialist. Obviously, my he's best. got the shops. And uh, well, he's got the got the tools. Got the tools. Yeah. <laughs> and, and most importantly, he's got the whole collection of Toyotas. Yeah. Uh, so check out our channel because you're gonna see all his Toyotas that he's got. But he knows everything about Toyotas. Um, so that's Jake. Victor over here is our adopted child. <laughs> that our adopted child with the with these ridiculous machines over here, Land Rovers. Honestly, they're really cool. I'm not gonna, I'm just kidding. But uh, he's our adopted child because he doesn't do Toyota. 
But uh, he's an awesome guy. He's super fun and he's knowledgeable, so can't beat that. Isaac over here. Isaac, funny story with Isaac. This is this is his truck over here, Chappie. Um, what's it called? Uh, we met on. Well, he kind of already followed me on Instagram, and then we saw each other on the street. He flagged me down. I said, "Hey, I'm going to Jake's shop. You want to go?" And that's where it all started. And he's been here the whole time. Never left. They can't get rid of me. Yeah, I can't. We can't <laughs> get rid of him. But uh. Yeah. And now, the guy, oh, John. Been, the guy has been playing uh, a cameraman. Well, John, also a master professional uh, mechanic. Well, he's he's a GM tech. GM. So he knows more about Chevys, but still knows a lot about three-point slows. Just like I have Jake. one, so. Yeah. yeah. He obviously, him and Jake are, are about the same. Package deal. Package deal, yeah. Yeah, that's um, what we tell each other. Like, <clears throat> whenever we get invited somewhere, if Jake doesn't go, I won't go. Or if I won't go, Jake won't go. Yeah. So. They're, we're well, pretty they, much a package deal. Yeah, they've been best friends since they were younger. I, I met these guys with the Toyota group uh, some years ago, probably like four or five years ago, the local Texas Toyota off-road organization. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the whole gang. Um, and that's, we, we kind of, it started with uh, Jonathan, Jake, and me, and then we got uh, Vic, well, Vic, we already knew Victor, he kind of joined a little later, but then we got Isaac, so that's the gang. And obviously anyone with a three-point slow, you're part of the gang, so. David, where is this channel going? What do you where do you see this channel going? Where do I see the channel going? I honestly seeing it's it's a Overland Nomad channel is a combination of what we like basically. It's it started as an overlanding camping channel, but it really is kind of become what we like, which is the outdoors and trucks. Cause I, I love that stuff, you know. It's uh that's kind of where it goes. It's just what, what what I like, what these guys like. So that's what you're gonna expect on on the channel for now on. It's gonna be three point slow gang and overland nomad, which is that's kind of how I divide the videos. You'll see the, on the on the YouTube videos, you see the logo either overland nomad, which meaning more camping, three point slow gang, which is mean more more shot videos. There you go, guys. If you guys are a fan of overlanding, if you guys are a fan of Toyotas, all right, anything that has to do with Toyotas. Anything has to do, and, and they don't discriminate, you know, because they have a disco over here, you know, and they have a, yeah. a Sammy four. over there as exactly, well. Exactly, yeah. All right, so they don't discriminate, you know. Any four by four. Yep. That's what that's what they're about. So please go out there, follow them, and check them out on Instagram as well. Instagram Overland Nomad. That's that's more on on my own personal uh, Instagram. You won't you'll see them on the stories, but you won't see pictures of them. But but yeah, on, on Instagram, and also I mean they got their own Instagrams. John Forerunner Adventure, uh, Offer Endeavor, Nick, uh, Chappie the Pickup, Isaac and Victor is Victor Vela, J James Bond 007, something childish <laughs> like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, check us out on Instagram. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate yeah, this was fun. It. Yeah. Before I left, Jonathan took a quick look at my aftermarket lights. We determined that they just weren't the right fit for Sandy, even though they were labeled as a good fit in the Amazon description. Sadly, I will have to revert back to the original halogen lights. Guys, I'm excited to announce Coastal GX's one year anniversary on February 8th. The Three Point Slow Gang and I are planning a one day trip to the East Cut. You're welcome to come by. We'd love to hear from you. As always, Thank you for subscribing and supporting this humble channel. I look forward to bringing you more content every week.